Money in Excel, Recurring Expenses Template. Get ready, because although money doesn't make Excel, Excel sure makes us money, or at least helps us track it. Here we are in our Money in Excel worksheet. In prior presentations, we set up the Money in Excel worksheet, connected then to the financial institution to get some financial data to then work with. In order to set up the Money in Excel template, you can open up Excel, go to the File tab on the left-hand side, go to New, and then the template looks like this, Money in Excel template. It might be up here in the New area, or more likely, if you haven't used it before, down here, uh, the template will be down here. You do need some type of subscription model uh, from Microsoft Office in order to access the functionality of Money in Excel. Let's go back to our template. Now, in prior presentations, we looked at the major two reporting purposes for money in Excel, and that would basically be to create an income statement and a balance sheet. Those are the two things you're typically looking at when you're looking at your financial data. We compared and contrasted it on putting that same financial data that we can kind of import from financial institutions in something like an Excel file to something like a QuickBooks type of information, QuickBooks using a double entry accounting system or any other type of accounting software that has similar functionality to kind of import bank transactions is going to use the double entry accounting system. Excel then not using the double entry accounting system, but rather giving you that financial data, which you could create an income statement from, and then pulling the ending balances from the institution to give you, in essence, a balance sheet or net worth type of calculation. Then we thought about budgeting information because that was one of the templates on the uh, left right hand side in our pane over here for the money in excel pane and that's of course projecting out into the future we did a little bit of comparing and contrasting of that to financial software functionality for budgeting now we want to be taking a look at the next item which is going to be the reoccurring expenses so we're in the templates tab in the money in excel pane on the right hand side to get this pane open you want to be in the home page and then over here in the money in excel item to get this pane open and then on the second tab is what we want. We're then going to go to the recurring expenses. It says keep track of money that's spent on a regular basis. That sounds like a good plan. Understand and manage recurring expenses. Recurring cha charges like subscriptions or memberships represent money that's basically already spent. Uh, see how they add up and decide what makes sense for you to keep. So these kind of recurring expenses, many more things these days are on a subscription model and once they're on a subscription model we kind of they're on autopilot after a while and it's useful to just basically reevaluate them from time to time they're already just coming out of our <laughs> account so we might want to basically check on those reoccurring expenses in a little bit more detail or a little bit more closely so add reoccurring charges you want to watch companies are okay at telling you when a subscription go, um, goes up but not always we'll tell you every time so they're basically saying, hey, if you're on a subscription type of model, you might want to just track that. And if they up the price of the subscription all of a sudden, then it'd be nice if they were to tell you that. And if you're tracking it as it go, it'll be more likely to do that. Note, when you're on a subscription model, obviously one of the common themes would be a free 30-day time period or something like that. Then they charge you. or And so hopefully you want to see that when that pops up because maybe you only wanted the free time period or maybe they have a, a discounted time period for a certain month or a couple months and then it goes up or something like that again it'd be nice to know that it goes up so that you can see if that uh, that increase is worth your time so we want to set up the template let's go ahead and set it up and then it says two reoccurring expenses and uh, subscriptions so it pulls out the information to get this information of course you do need the financial data and we've categorized the financial data here and uh, and it's pulling that information basically from the vendor at this case so it's actually not taking the category it's not trying to take the category it's actually taking the, the charges to a particular vendor and saying these look like uh, reoccurring type of transactions typically just pulling those reoccurring transactions that are being obviously the same amount that are being spent to the same vendor that it's pulling that information from the memo and the amount that's coming in from the banking information so select select reoccurring expenses you want to watch so we're going to go ahead and say yeah let's check those off and i don't want you know if those things start to do something silly you know start to increase in an unusual way for example or decrease in an unusual way then i want to know about it so let's go ahead and add that so the reoccurring expenses template has been created so there it is 
Now we don't have a whole lot. I, these are just a couple examples of the reoccurring expenses, but you might have a whole lot more going on. You might have like a QuickBooks would be a reoccurring expense. The the Microsoft Office <laughs> itself uh, itself might be a reoccurring type of expense. Insurance could be a reoccurring type of expense. Many different softwares could be reoccurring expenses. And again, these things are something that because they're reoccurring and and the soft all these companies know that they that's why they like the subscription model. Once you're kind of locked into it then it just becomes somewhat automatic. So it might be useful then to have, you know, your re reoccurring expenses tab over here so you can see what those are, see if there's any big changes to the reoccurring expenses uh, on a month over month, and then and then see if you want to reevaluate them at, at any particular time. So we have up top then the reoccurring expenses. Money in Excel automatically identifies which transactions are recurring. Uh, if any recurring expenses are missing, input them into the empty rows our system will use one merchant to amount uh, that's going to be the dollar amount and three for, uh, and frequently to search these transactions in the future and monitor prices so how does how does the excel system know to do this well clearly they're looking at the merchant which basically is being pulled from the memo information on the bank feed so it's a, if it's an electronic type of transfer they can typically do that if you're paying things by check then it, it can't really do that as much because it's not going to be able to pull the memo session section out of the check because it'll be on the canceled check but if you have electronic transfers typically you have a memo more information in the memo which excel can then convert into a merchant and then pull that information and then obviously the amount uh, if it's the same amount of course could be easier for the system to then be pulling in so then we have our, our items uh, down below and then uh, we have the verizon amount uh, days to pay so that they're going to estimate basically the days to pay here and then up top we're tracking then the merchant the amount frequency here we have then uh, frequency quarterly and then here we have monthly on the frequency and this is the the year to date the year to date annual at this point in time and then the last point in time that it was paid this also could be kind of useful to to try to estimate you know when these automatic payments are going to be coming out of the, the checking account to make sure that you got money in it uh, so that it can then be pulled out so those are going to be the reoccurring transactions this is kind of an added on type of feature because remember the financial data in excel usually you're thinking you know balance sheet where do i stand income statement what's going to be the activity over time that we can build from basically the transactions and then possibly future you know planning for the future which this can be a tool to help you with that which would include budgeting and possibly reoccurring recurring transactions which can help you to then you know make decisions in the future about these these reoccurring transactions the subscription type model uh, activities or expenditures that you have